My name is Ben Halpert and I'm currently the VP of Risk and Corporate Security at Ionic Security. I'm also the founder of Savvy Cyber Kids, a 501c3 nonprofit, and I'm a CISO instructor. I really enjoy the online option in the hybrid classes for the CISO uh, certification because it allows folks that have a more diverse background to participate in the course. And so if it's a local course and it's just folks from the local area, uh, you get a more diverse background of experiences for individuals um, from across the world, actually. The online CISO course option is great for those that have limited travel budget or that don't have travel budget and pay for their training by themselves to make themselves better and for those that have a lot going on at work that really can't take a full week off or a full four days to take a live class. This way they get to live their life, their personal life, their work life, and they continue uh, to get some education. So within the courses, um, so I've taught fully virtual before, I've taught only live in person before, and so with the hybrid model, you get a lot more discussion. And you get a lot more discussion because there's actually more viewpoints that you get typically. And so there's great discussion back and forth and we have great sound and great video so everyone's able to participate. For the CCSO course, there is a base set of knowledge that we wanna make sure everybody has. And beyond that, that's, I would say that's probably one of the smaller portions of the CISO course. The best things about the CISO course are the attendees, the folks that are there. Those people, they get a chance to network the students and the instructors with the students, get to network, share their experiences, and um, really the experiences is what expands on the curriculum that really makes it so beneficial for everybody that's in attendance, both online uh, and in the room. Part of the CISO course is doing exercises, and for each domain, we bring in different exercises so that you can actually practice um, using techniques and using some of the material that we've covered, as well as showing your experience. So for example, within each domain, we do exercises, and the exercises that we do, they actually go from domain to domain, so we're actually building a case study. So basically an information security case study throughout the course and it's broken up into different exercises that cross the different domains. For the exercises that we do within the CISO, um, there's many exercises and it's really based on the instructor's experience and what the instructor likes. There's just so much we can do from an experience perspective and for the exercises. So um, one exercise that we do has to do with uh, breaches. So the students select an organization that has been breached, that has publicly announced uh, breach and they take the experience and the information that's available and work through all the different domains as we go through and as if they are a CISO and a CISO in that role.